So with my gear, I can just slide over here, like your center. All right. <laughs> with my gear in my mind, I want to pick up and push out. Oops. This is important. That's right. that's the reason for this. My leg, no matter what I do, it's not going to be long enough to hit me. But the most important part of this, whether you have somebody in front of you or not, the idea is to get the leg up, uh, get the knee up for my gear in this preparatory position. Oops. And then from here, the hips and pelvis and everything continue to work until you get this extension. Oops. And then back. Oops. And then down. All right. Most people will just do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and sling the leg. Plus. Plus. Mm. Uh, okay, so like, Hi. Because I'm, we're not going all out. But this is what most people do, right? They just, and you can get by with that. Like we said, the leg weighs more than the arm. Plus. So it's almost like a small club or bat. Even the worst kick, you can do something, right? But here with my gear, you want to push. Here. Push. This one. So you notice the hip pushes out. And then retracts. So don't forget not only expansion, but contraction with all kicks, particularly with my gear. Oops. And back. All right. If you lose your balance, no problem. Just keep going. That's what repetition and practice are for. Just keep doing it. All right. Plus. And this is the same with all kicks. So a good drill, you don't have to have the partner there. If I got a chair or a log or a stick or a rope between two posts. And don't go fast because you probably end up breaking your foot if you think, you know, you might misjudge the distance. Get your hips in the right position. Oops. So you're already above the level of the chair or the obstacle before. And the hips just continue this motion Oops. back. Oops. This back is crucial and down. Oops. You want this chamber position to the kick. Oops. Hi. Okay. Oops. So something to think about with my gear. Hi. And this is a good little drill you can use with the chair. 